So I'm Ben and this is Lee, and our project was a gesture control drone where we use the Microsoft Connect to read our hand gestures and send that data over to a remote control unit to enable a drone to fly. So for my part of the project, I work on the interconnect, so being able to take the hand signals and send that data over to the FPGA and then from the FPGA over to the remote control. So what we did was actually hook up uh, some open source software that we downloaded on, the, on a PC that enabled us to just immediately find the hand coordinates that we got from the Kinect, and then send that data, we sent that data over uh, USB to the FPGA, and then once we figured out which gestures we wanted on the FPGA, we outputted analog values and used a digital analog converter to change, uh, sorry, we outputted digital values from the FPGA and then used a digital analog converter to change those into analog voltages, which, were, which enabled us to control the remote control unit on the, that came with the drone. Right. So I'll be talking about how we actually compute the gestures on the FPGA. First off, we have the on and off state machine, which basically looks that the user does this with their hands. And once that um, gesture is done, we invert the state. So if we were on, we go to the off state, and if we're off, we go to the on state. Now, when, the, when we're in the off state, no signals are sent to the controller of the drone, and the drone can't fly. When we're in the on state, we um, compute three different signals. We compute pitch, roll, and hover. Hover determines how high the drone flies. Roll determines which side it turns to. And pitch determines whether it goes forward or back. In order to determine hover, we compute high, how high the hands are um, within the space. So the higher the hands are, the higher the drone flies. We also compute um, for roll the difference between the hands. So if the right hand is above the left, we turn left and when the hands are in this position, so when the right is below the left hand, we turn left. And then lastly, for the pitch, um, we compute whether the hands are moving forward or back. So when the hands are in some like um, range in the center, the drone flies at a cons um, in place. When the ha hands move forward, the drone flies forward, and when they move back, they fly back. And then we convert each of these different um, signals is converted to an 8-bit uh, value that is passed to the digital to analog converter, which converts it to um, the signal that we sent to the controller. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Get better at this. Oh my god. <laughs> this is insane.